yes guys welcome back to another video it's been a while been really busy with some projects and just yeah some personal stuff so i haven't been able to post as frequently but that's all done now we'll be posting some more what we're going to do today is we're going to go through all the basic commands you need to know to actually work through your command line how to create folders how to create files how to delete files everything through your command line because this is essential if you want to be working with github and also git Now the first thing you need to do is you need to install git because we'll be using git bash which is what is provided to us when we actually install git and the cool thing about git bash is we'll be able to use all these commands and be able to create everything and this is essential this is a must you need to understand this this is a for sure must if you want to be a developer so make sure you understand this if everything i'm talking about right now you do not understand or you're not sure of it make sure you watch the video to the end so you understand everything if you're new to the channel subscribe so you can see the other videos that i'll be releasing because this is a series we're going to touch on git github how to use repository how to push how to everything you need to know about just working through your repositories and working in the team and all that good stuff so make sure you subscribe like the video guys and with all that being said let's get started now the first thing we're going to do is we'll need to install git and why we need git is that since this is for also github we'll need git to be able to communicate with github so actually transfer from our local machine to our github repository we'll be using that all powered with git git bash to be really precise what you need to do is just go on google you click on git or you can see the url right here it's not too long it's git dash scm.com come right here you click on download Make sure you download it for whatever operating system you're using. And when you download it, you install it. I don't need to install it, but because I have it, so you need to install it. And when you install it, it's very, very simple. You just click yes, yes, yes. And yeah, you know that installation kind of thing. When you have it, you should have something like this. You just go and you click, you write bash, and you see here, git bash. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to use git bash right here and now that you've done this okay so if you follow the step that i just outlined you should have git bash and you should have exactly what i have right here the only difference is for sure you have a different c directory and all that but you should have a git bash right here with the dollar sign very close to it the first command i want to show you which is really important is actually how to make a directory so what is a directory a directory is basically a folder so the way we do that is we say mkdir and then we put the name of the directory what we want to call the directory so what i'm going to call this directory is tutorial okay so now i've created a directory called tutorial how do we get into our tutorial directory the way we get to our tutorial directory is we click on cd and then we put tutorial and just something for you to know and if you click on the tab when you just write the beginning of whatever directory name you want to write it's going to auto complete it for you and that's what it just did right here it auto completed the tutorial and you click on enter you can see right here we have tutorial it's not showing only this before it was showing this and master now it's showing slash now it's showing slash tutorial but if you really want to see the whole directory root you click you write pwd and with pwd you can see right here we have c this is the whole directory that we're in right now you can see right here is c then user four three four seven one one and then tutorial so this is the directory we are in right now and that's where you whenever you're moving through directory sometimes it's good to use this pwd to know where you are really okay so what else do we need to know what I want us to actually do also is that I want to show you how you can create a file right here. So what file are we going to create? Well, let's create a HTML file. The way we do that is we can say touch. Then we say main or just say index.html. I'll click enter. Now that we've created this file, I'll show you another command that whenever you're inside a directory, this command will show you all the files inside that directory. 
and it's just ls i can see we clicked on ls right now and yeah oh nice nice i made it bigger so we can see it very well now we clicked on ls and you can see that it shows index.html so right now i've showed you the different ways of just moving through directories but what i want us to do is i want us to create another folder another directory inside this tutorial and if you remember you should be able to say it it is we say make mkdir that's how you make a directory and here I'll, I'll call this i'll call this directory github okay so now if we click on ls again you can see you have github and it shows that it's a directory that's why the color is different it's showing it's a folder and then we have also index.html if we want to actually go into this github if you remember we say cd and then we put the name of where we want to go to now if i put, if i click on pwd again we get the whole directory where and you can see tutorial slash github what if we want to go back one directory well instead of actually writing any name what we do is we say cd space dot dot click enter and now you can see that here we had tutorial slash github but now it's only tutorial so that's the cool thing about this and that's why this saves a lot of time because you're just working through the command line and you don't have to click on the application and wait for it to open and just all that unnecessary thing and this is this is the life of a programmer essentially okay now that we know this i'm gonna do cd again dot dot okay space dot dot what if we wanted to go to github and you don't want to write the names well what you can do is you can say cd and then you say slash tutorial slash github yeah so remove this and then we go in so you shouldn't put the why well, i got an error is i actually put this here and there's no need of that this slash right here there's no need of that so the way you do it is you just come right here and now you can see that i did it again without it and we are in github what you can notice now is it's getting really messy here what if you want to clear it well the way to clear it is just right clear i click on enter and you can see we have a brand new everything has been deleted and we can continue we have more space we don't have to start scrolling down so that's another thing you should remember make sure you're saving all these commands i'm giving you and make sure you're coding with me make sure you're actually practicing it with me because this is the way you learn it just looking at it alone is not the way you actually have to use your hands and yeah just work through everywhere now that we have this what if i want to go back to directories and i don't want to actually do this cd dot dot twice well what we can do is we can do cd dot dot then we do slash dot dot and now you can see that we're no more in tutorial slash github we're just in my original directory we started in which is this right here so this is a way of us going back to directories without this is like shortcuts so that's the cool thing about this is that there's so many shortcuts to actually save you more time while doing this now that we have this what if i wanted to actually write into a file because we do have a file so let's go one directory forward let's go to tutorial and if i press ls we can see that we have this index.html what if i want to put something inside this index.html we can do that by putting vi and then we say index.html and right now you can see what just happened this is really really cool and the way we, the first thing we need to do is you just press s because we want to write we want to insert something into this file and after pressing s we can actually start writing stuff so what i'm just going to put here is i'm going to put a div 
just because it's HTML. So I'll put a div right here and I'll put another div, a closing div. And I'll just say, hello, hello guys. And now that I've done this, I'm going to click on escape, your escape button on your keyboard. And when you press escape, you press a colon. I can see the colon right here. And then we say WQ. And we've saved it now. Now not, what I want you to do is actually go to this directory, click on the file. If you open the file, you will see that you actually have stuff written in it. And a way for us to see if we have stuff written in it is that we can write another command and the command is and the command is cat C A T and then we say index HTML. And what does it show here? It shows us the content of whatever file we put here. And what is the content showing? It's showing you the div that we just created. So this is really, really cool. I hope you're excited about this because I am really excited about just showing you everything. It's really, really nice that you can just do this so seamlessly. You don't need to open applications and all that. It's all through the command line. And when we actually start interacting with GitHub and using pull requests, push requests and all that and committing and adding to the staging on staging, you will love, you will love all these commands that you actually know. And you love the fact that you can move through directories on your computer. Okay, some other commands that we should check out is what if you want to delete a file because I think that's also very important if you want to delete a file what we'll do is you say rm and then you say the file name in our case it's index.html we click on it if we click on ls to actually show us all the files and folders in the directory we're in which is tutorial you can see that we don't have index.html anymore. When we press ls right here, we add index.html, but it's gone because we deleted it. What if we want to delete a directory? If you want to delete this GitHub for some reason, you know what, I'll show you that. But before I show you that, I want to show you how you can actually rename this directory. Maybe I want to change the name from GitHub to Git. Well, the way I'll change the name of the directory is I'll say MV, And then we'll put the name, which is GitHub, the original name right now. And after this, we'll put the new name, which is Git. So if we press LS again, you can see it's been changed to Git. But for some reason, I'm like, you know what? I don't need this file anymore. I don't want it here. If you want to delete it, delete a directory. The difference between deleting a directory and deleting a file is that we say rm like we did for the file but then we say we put the dash and f and then we put the name which is git okay actually it should be rm and r instead of f and now we've actually deleted it if we put ls right here you see nothing shows up because we don't have anything in this directory so these are the basics these are things i feel you should know down in the description below i'll leave a cheat sheet where you can see other things just some more complex commands but all the things i showed you today are the basics they're the foundation you know i'm strong on that you need to understand the basics you need to understand all these things i showed you watch the video again if you don't really get everything follow me as i'm doing it make your own directory, remove something, add something, just move through the whole working directories, your folders and your files, create them and just, just play with it. That's the way you learn this and really understand it. But that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions or if you're stuck, put it down in the comments below. I'm for sure I'll check it out. Like the video guys, it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. It's completely free. So you know what, just like the vid. And that's it for this video. I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you all on the next one.